Hello. Hello! Today we are setting up the opening shot for our film and it involves a very complicated camera move. Yes, not only does it pan to the right and move up, we've also got a zoom out and a focus pull at the same time which makes it extra complicated for us. So we're going to be doing it with our tripod head, the new tripod head that we got. So it's exciting but it will be complicated. The opening shot begins on a close-up of the newspaper. The wind then blows it away and the camera follows it until it leads up onto a wide shot of the street with the beggar in the doorway sheltering from the rain. So what makes this shot so complicated to do is the fact that we need to work out the exact amount the camera needs to move in each direction for every single frame that we take and it's not just a matter of dividing the amount by the amount of frames we have, it actually needs to ease in and ease out which means it needs to start slightly slower to get you into the shot and then it needs to continue at a, a constant pace for a little while until you get to the end of the shot where it needs to slow down and ease out of the camera move. So that takes a lot of maths. <laughs> Good thing you love maths. Yeah. <laughs> math queen of the math club. <laughs> this is how we got on. Because the shot starts as a close-up, we had to remake the newspaper and the cobblestone at a bigger scale so that it had more has more detail. So, if you look down here, this is the scale difference. So that's a small version of that. And that's the cobblestone which this time I made it out of plaster of Paris and painted it and varnished it like the other cobblestones so that they look similar. So we're busy setting up the camera for the opening shot and we've got it all set up for the first frame of the opening shot now. And we're busy trying to work out the correct angles and the zoom and everything for where it needs to be so that when the camera moves it can move in equal increments and we'll know exactly where we need to put it. So you can see here you've got the dot on the camera which doesn't move and we're going to be changing the focus here and the zoom which is here so it's two different things. So we've put this line of masking tape here and marked exactly where we need the camera to be. This is for the first frame of the opening shot. And we'll mark it again for the end frame and hopefully mark all the increments in between for every single frame so we know exactly where they need to be. And you can see when I turn it, this, this turns here. So with these lines it helps us a lot so we know exactly to line it up. So this is the dial on the tripod head there's three of these in total on the camera one for the horizontal movement one for the vertical movement and one to tilt from side to side and you can see here there's a little dot like there is on the camera as well and this little dot won't move this dial here moves and you can tell exactly where you are from where it lines up with the dot So we hope you enjoyed that. We managed to do a test shot today which we'd like to share with you. It's a good thing that we actually did the test shot because we realised we need to make some changes to the timings in the zoom out and the focus pull. Which is a good thing because then we didn't waste any time animating. Yes, yeah, so here it is and now we're ready to film the final thing. Goodbye. Bye bye.